What's going on guys? Calvin Monster here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install my um, my my mods for Brutal Half-Life. Um, if you don't know what Brutal Half-Life is, it's a modification for Half-Life. Hence the name Brutal Half-Life. Um, it's pretty much inspired by um, Brutal Doom and all that. So yeah, it's really fucking awesome. Uh, the download link it to Brutal Half-Life is in the description below. Make sure you have Half-Life on Steam. Um, half, the Steam version of Half-Life will be in the description below. Um, the link for that will be down there. Um, anyway, so what you want to do is you want to have your directory, your Half-Life directory open. Because we need it. So minimize that for now. All you want to do is you want to like, install Brutal Half-Life into your Half-Life directory. So just copy and paste your location in there, or have a look for your location with the browser, and then wait for it to install. Now that it's done, we want to uh, start with the easy stuff first, and then I'll show you guys the more complicated stuff uh, later on, which will be this one. So now that we've installed Brutal Half-Life, um, I'm going to open up the directory. So, here we go. First things first, scripts.cfg. This one um, is a bunch of gameplay tweaks that I made. Um, so yeah, so you, uh, you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Tap in exe uh, bullet time dot cfg, and you just want to save and exit. Now rename scripts to user config and then press enter and now there'll be user config cfg exit that now for the better blood put decals word into there and replace sprites go into there now that's done bullet time this is what, um, this is why we made this user config with the tweaks. Um, so you just want to drag and drop pretty much, and everything's all in the right structure. So yeah, it'll execute this when the um, when this. CFG gets executed, which will be executed automatically with the config.cfg. Um, yeah. So now for the brutal Half Life HUD. Uh, yeah, the HUD, the HUD font. So you want to open up your sprites. Um, and you want to go to the HUD.txt. Scroll all the way down to here where it says number zero. Let's select that. Don't do anything to that just yet. Now you want to open this up. Um, pretty much select all. Copy. X. Now you want to paste that over. So it's like that now. And save. And then that's it. All you have to do now is just dump that in there and then that's it you're done now open up brutal half-life now, now it won't be in your steam directory straight away you have to uh, 
re uh, restart Steam. So you just want to um, click exit Steam, restart it, and then bring it back up again. Anyway, so once that's done, click play. And now press the tilde key and the console will pop up. If you see this, that means you've got everything installed right. So you just click the game and do whatever. I'm just going to do the zoom out to show you guys pretty much everything. Now, in the actual game, um, you don't run really fast. Run on the average speed of normal Half-Life, but my tweaks make you run a little bit faster. So you run as pretty much as um, as quickly as you would in Quake, as you can see. Some people don't really like that, but um, I kind of do. So and if you play um, if you played Doom and Brutal Doom, um, yeah, you you run you run pretty quickly. You move pretty fast. So as you can see there is the new HUD uh, numbers. Um, they're the ones that you've installed um, from my pack. Shut the fuck up. Um, and yeah, no, the normal one is I think the Doom font and it's really hard to see when you're in combat so uh, yeah. I just made it like a smaller version. So, if you press C, you'll activate slow mo. And that's part of the bullet time script that I made. So, you just can go ahead and shoot whoever. Time will move a bit faster if you move. So, um, yeah. You press Z again to activate normal. Everything speeds back up to normal time. So yeah, pretty easy stuff. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Ooh. Alright. Okay, before I start playing, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video, the tutorial. Um, I guess if you want to see some more tutorials, I guess I can make some more. Um, I made this because people were having trouble installing the mods, like I said at the side of the video, so, yeah. Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace, peace.